Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry, and I'm the founder of HealthyBloodPressure.com. Meditation has been a popular way to calm your anxieties and find a peaceful balance in life for hundreds of years. But can it lower blood pressure? That's what we're going to explore in this video. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics. What is meditation? Can meditation reduce blood pressure? What do the research studies say about meditation and lowering blood pressure? How exactly does meditation lower blood pressure? Which meditation style is most effective for lowering high blood pressure? How do you do transcendental meditation? What are some other benefits of meditation? So let's get started. Let's talk about what is meditation. Meditation is a process you can use to find a place of complete calmness in your mind and your body. There are nine primary types of meditation. Visualization meditation, spiritual meditation, progressive relaxation, mantra meditation, movement meditation, transcendental meditation, focused meditation, loving kindness meditation, and mindfulness meditation. These methods vary in the way that they function. For example, while focused meditation requires a deep focus and concentration, mindfulness meditation requires you to be aware of your conscience choice. Movement meditation, on the other hand, is gentle movement such as walking or even dancing. Meditation can be even as simple as sitting quietly and focusing on your breath. The main objective of meditation is to calm your mind by controlling your thoughts and creating peaceful and positive energy. Meditation helps you to relax, focus, and increase your awareness. But can meditation reduce blood pressure? Stress can play a major role in increasing blood pressure. When you're feeling stressed, your adrenal glands produce a temporary hormone called cortisol. Cortisol increases your heart rate and blood pressure. If your stress is constant over a long period of time, it will repeatedly cause your heart to beat faster and your blood vessels to constrict. This can eventually lead to high blood pressure. Also, people try to reduce their stress by reverting to unhealthy habits such as smoking, drinking alcohol, and eating unhealthy foods. Each of these bad habits are known to cause high blood pressure. Meditation can help to reduce your stress calm your anxiety and slow down your heart rate. Let's take a look at some studies about the connection between meditation and high blood pressure. All right, what do the research studies say about meditation and lowering blood pressure? A clinical study published in 2019 talked about how a mindfulness-based meditation program was designed to see whether it had any effect on blood pressure. 56 men and women who had elevated blood pressure levels were divided into two groups. One group of participants received eight group meditation sessions from a professional instructor that lasted two and a half hours per week. The other group just received lifestyle advice and muscle relaxation activity. The group that went through guided meditation experienced an average decrease in their systolic blood pressure by five points compared to only a one point drop by the other group. The first group's diastolic blood pressure was reduced by an average of two points versus the second groups who had a one point drop. A second study published in 2015 included 48 African American men and women with stage one hypertension. The group participated in a 16 week instructor led transcendental meditation program. The study showed a dramatic decrease in blood pressure in those who participated in the Transcendental Meditation Program. And another two-year research study by professors of Kent State University with 56 adults showed that those who went through an eight-week mindfulness meditation program designed for elevated blood pressure patients experienced an average 4.8 drop in their systolic blood pressure and a 1.9 drop in their diastolic blood pressure. That's a significant drop in blood pressure. How does meditation lower blood pressure? Meditation helps to lower blood pressure in three different ways. 
The first way is it decreases stress hormones. Meditation involves mental and physical techniques that relax the mind and the body. And when your body is relaxed, the stress hormones, adrenaline and cortisol decrease, which lowers your blood pressure. Number two, it increases nitric oxide. Meditation helps your body to produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is considered the miracle molecule for lowering blood pressure by some health experts. Nitric oxide is what's called a vasodilator and a vasodilator relaxes the inner muscles of your blood vessels, which cause your vessels to widen. And when your blood vessels widen, more blood can flow freely through your body, which lowers your blood pressure. And that's how nitrous oxide increases blood flow and lowers blood pressure. And the third way is telomerase. Research has shown that meditation can create more telomerase. Now telomerase is an enzyme that can slow cell decay and keep us feeling younger. The amount of telomerase in our bodies declines as we age, which increases blood pressure. And it's been shown that when you meditate, it increases the amount of telomerase, which decreases your blood pressure. All right, which meditation style is most effective for lowering high blood pressure? Although the goal of all kinds of meditation is to reduce stress and consequently dilate the blood vessels, one particular form of meditation has been well researched and found to lower high blood pressure. And this form of meditation is known as transcendental meditation. In fact, the American Heart Association put out a statement that supported the use of transcendental meditation as an alternate form of treatment for high blood pressure. Transcendental meditation quiets down the mind and can be practiced relatively easily. Another form of meditation that has also proven to be beneficial in lowering blood pressure is mindfulness meditation. And mindfulness meditation involves deep breathing and focus your mind on a particular object a phenomenon, or a prayer. Doing this cuts off your signals of stress to the brain, which ultimately helps your blood vessels to open up and allow your blood to flow more freely. Okay, how do you do transcendental meditation? Well, transcendental meditation is a technique that was founded by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi based on an ancient Vedic scriptures that originated in India. The technique was brought to the world by the Maharishi Foundation, where it's taught by certified instructors. Typically, the instructor gives the student a unique mantra, which must be the sole focus of the student during a practice session. A mantra is a word, a phrase, or a sound that's spoken, chanted, whispered, or repeated in your mind to help you concentrate during meditation. Transcendental meditation should be done twice a day, 20 minutes each time. Usually one session in the morning and one in the afternoon is recommended. And all you have to do is sit quietly with your eyes closed, focus on the mantra given to you, and continue to repeat it, either verbally or in your mind. And if your mind wanders, acknowledge the stray thoughts and gently bring your mind back to the mantra. What are some other benefits of meditation? Well, apart from reducing stress and anxiety, meditation has a host of other benefits. Here's just a few. Meditation helps improve your self-image and helps you gain more positive outlook on life. It reduces depression and helps you improve your mood as well. Meditation can also help you to overcome addictions and dependencies by learning how to harness your thoughts that control your actions. It helps you to be more aware of your inner thoughts and self-talk and it can improve your self-control and the self-mastery of your emotions. Meditation also teaches you how to better focus and be more in the moment with people. By subduing racing thoughts and anxiety, meditation can calm your mind enough to help you sleep better. Meditation reduces not just emotional stress, but also physical stress resulting from chronic pain. And finally, there's a spiritual aspect to yoga that helps you to soothe your soul and give you inner peace. In summary, the century old practice of meditation has now been backed by research to show that it helps to lower blood pressure. 
Of all the different forms of meditation, transcendental meditation has been seen to be clinically most effective in controlling high blood pressure. And when learned from a certified instructor and practiced regularly, meditation, especially transcendental meditation, can lower your blood pressure in as few as eight weeks. So if you're thinking about a new way to reduce your high blood pressure, you might consider giving meditation a try. Let me know what you think about using meditation to lower your blood pressure down in the comments below. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.